Think like Tesla. The show is Think Like Tesla. My name is Micah, and check this out. So what we've got here is a mag loop antenna. So what's the point of a mag loop antenna? Let's take a look here. So we've talked about a Tesla coil before. Now in a Tesla coil, it's an air gap transformer with a top load. So this, co this is the primary coil and this capacitor make a resonant circuit fed and gives kicks of energy at just the right time, either through a spark gap or through a solid state system. Builds up a lot of energy in the primary. It also couples as a step-up transformer to the secondary. This top load also serves as a capacitor, so it too is resonant, and it gets a lot of energy, which comes off sparks and all kinds of other cool stuff. Now on a mag loop antenna, the primary is one turn. It's fed through a uh, feed line, shielded cable, and the secondary is also one turn larger, and it has a variable capacitor. So what happens is you feed your signal in here. Well, actually, this can be used as receive or transmit. If you're transmitting, you'd feed your signal in here, and it would couple to the big loop resonantly, so you get lots and lots of current circling around in here, possibly m multiple amps, and that will radiate your signal. Actually, the signal radiate off to the sides, not through the, through the loop in this configuration. So it's useful as an antenna. It can work fairly well indoors. It's somewhat portable. You don't have to string long, long wires like you would with a dipole. And so it's a pretty popular configuration for ham radio outfits. So that's why I'm using it. Now, take a look at uh, the internals here. So it's a wired remote to adjust the capacitance. And uh, let's see if we can do that now. So this is a meter I got off of eBay. It's not the greatest quality thing I've ever seen. But right now it's feeding out a 14 megahertz signal. And it is reading the impedance of my antenna at 23 ohms and uh, 3.7, the uh, standing wave ratio is kind of bouncing around a little bit. My, the antenna here is very physically close to uh, my favorite capacitor, which I also is also known as me. If I move around, it can affect the readings here a little bit. But let's activate the wired remote. I've got it on a short string here. So here's my question for you ham radio guys. I'm going to play around with this some more and see how low I can get it, but I can't seem to get this down to a one-to-one -one configuration. I used the the uh, mag loop antenna calculator, plugged in the values, and uh, I should be able to get something better than what I'm seeing here. Let me play with this a little bit more, see what I can get this dialed into. And so if you're familiar with electromagnetics, with ham radio, Tell me what I'm doing wrong or what I could do better. Okay, this is about the closest I've got it. S S SWR 2.06. Oh, there goes 1.9. It's bouncing around a lot, but it's still not where I would have thought I would have been able to get it to, and especially in a controlled environment like this. Let's see what else we got here. Impedance showing as 25 plus imaginary 13. Capacitance, no. Inductance, very little. Yeah, I mean, so right there, that's not too bad, 1.5. It would be definitely usable at, at that. I, one question is how much I can trust my instruments here. I carefully calibrated it. In fact, I built a little board 
with three buttons, which produces carefully measured ohmic resistances of 50, 150, and 274 ohms, specifically for the calibration routine in this guy. So, yeah, it's still bouncing around a lot. Look at that. And the fours. So, ham radio guys, let me know what you think.